play slow. They like to play very methodically. I don't know that we're going to see oh, anything hot and spicy, although 100 Thieves are trying to apply a little bit of that pressure on B-side. Forward is all they have to look at, and Defo is going to be able to find another one as Ethan pops out. Can't oh. dodge that shock dart. Pops him right in the face, down to 10 health as the fight for the middle of the map continues. Excellent paranoia, but again, there's nothing off of that. Spike there to be safe, but they don't even have to do this yet. They can still mill about. They have full control of the map and pistol. Eco's gonna drop as well. Nitro's left alone early on. The nice thing for him is that all members of Gambit are weak. Yeah. Uh, but this would be a pretty tall order. He's got nothing but a classic as well. Oh, well, he's already gotten two. He's got three on the round. 17 health. He's gonna have to reposition things just a tad. As the spike continues to tick away, they see him drop down. Not able to... Well, was able to isolate the gunfight. Not able to land the shot. Talked about them going slow, but this time they've dialed up. They've dialed up the speed. They've dialed up the pressure. And they've gotten some progress. Naps was able to take out Seal, but Asuna trading it out, Hiko. Looking to hold things down on the back of the side as Defo's gonna fall as well. Nitro and Hiko seem to be doing just fine. But what can Shados do? He's gonna have to challenge Hiko. The Tracer is giving away Hiko's position. Down to certainly low health, and it's a classic. Who wins the round? We're gonna see good against good, right? Full rifles on both sides. How are things gonna pan out? Defo tries going aggressive, tries to take the high ground across, give up the middle of the map, and yeah, Hot Liberty was able to work their way up, but they weren't able to punish them. It's on... All right, so he knows Nats is there. He got some mutual at the flash, the swing, the kill delivered. The area is where Nats had his camera, had his utility. on into the next round, but 100 Thieves are going to be able to tie things up. And again, I, I, I lost the middle of the map, but Asuna going hunting. He spotted Nats. The flash was there. It was beautiful as Nats gets cleaned up. Great everything 100 Thieves has worked on so far this round. Ooh, Asuna. Asuna. Man, they, they just react so well. But Defa wins that with the Blade Storm. Goes up Still top. There. Not going to spot anyone there. And Ethan... A little ring around the rosy. One drops. The second one's there. They've got him tagged. And they've got nothing but a, a sheriff. Yeah, there's nothing doing there. The spike's going to drop. Defo still has that blade storm, but he doesn't have the spike. He finds himself in a 1v4. All reset. Make that a 1v3. 30 seconds left. Reset. Okay. Make that a 1v2. Defo manages to pick up the spike as well. Understands he goes there. Ethan's going in there as well. He goes in aggressive. Defo good for four. Looking to work the ace with the blade storm. Hiko. He's got a Utel. Defo does it. My goodness. The ace to kick off the series for Gambit. Absolutely incredible what we've seen Gambit do just in five rounds here. What's going to happen for the rest? 100 Thieves now taking a little more space than usual as they move up. Now they tend to aggress. Ethan and Asuna coming up big. It was beautiful. It was a play. They've got Seekers now that have followed up as well, but the Paranoia swinging off of that. They were able to establish mid-map control, even cleaning up the player that was down in Sub Rosa off of, the, off of the peak from Top Cat and from Arch. There was just so much pressure applied there in the middle at that moment. Gambit had no way to respond. Now Nats is in a 1v5. Again, surely not information gathered towards A. But nothing out oh, quite yet. Defo lands a first one on Tation. They're all getting on B now, and it's going to be a hard hit with four. Mid B split. Last time they did this, it was not successful. Can they have a better time as they go here again? You've got Asuna and Ethan who are both starting to show up, but can they hold fast in time? Nitro's already good for two. Looking for the third. No. Chronicle cleans him up. Oh. I know exactly. Leave things into 3v2. The neural theft is going to come out as well. Asuna with the op. The spike goes down. No challenge going to be coming through that cage quite yet. And there's a second one as well. Hunter Fury on to Ethan. He's going to get tagged up. Surely, I mean, I guess they could go for it here, but you've got an op and you've got a, a rifle. Maybe you just play for exits. This is such a brutal spot. 400 Thieves as Gambit, as Gambit have like fully established control of the site. They're hunkered down in there. There's no way they're getting out. Exactly. Right? Like, this is beautiful play from Gambit. A really great job. So I, going in, I was like, four strong on the site. They sent all five in. There are every angle is being watched from highway to stairs. Now, can they make it out? Is the question oh. from lat for Masana, of course. But Nats will find it out with his phantom. Should be able to get out of this one. Good to go. All right, oh, some decent info, right, with the knife. Nico using a Hunter Fury, a little dance, a little jiggle, a little two-step. Not able to land the kill. Fancy footwork keeps him alive. Hiko and on to steal. Okay, well that's going to give him away now. <laughs> the Seeker missed it. The knife does not, but it looks like they want to go towards A. Defo down to 62. Oh, oh my Ethan's gosh. in a great spot. Able to get three. Defo left alone. You've got Chronicle. Worked wide, but Defo. Defo's good for two. Chronicle got one on Nitro as well. How is this drop being flipped the other way? It's just Asuna in a 1v2. Asuna's got the ob too. Spike not down yet! Asuna misses the shot! Chronicle does not! As he in a dire situation.
those rounds they were able to mount after the bonus. Something they kept in the bank account. And they haven't had to use too much utility per round if it's just been firefight. So that is how Defo comes up big again, Doug! The cloud burst, the flash, and the swing off of that. Defo takes space away. They know Nitro's down there. He's going to get cleaned up, not without Nitro taking Nats along the way. But Gambit, well, I, I hesitate to say Gambit because it's Defo who's gotten onto the site. Defo has control. The rest of Gambit is just now arriving to the party. The spike should be able to go down. What sort of a retake attempt do we have out of 100 Thieves? Look at this Defo, the man who's usually hiding in the shadows on Operator, right in your face. He actually gets oh. all sorted out. Back to the off, oh, not in the spot. He wants to be. Could the zero point be the play? Oh, up close and personal. Steals it, but again, Prevengar's able to trade him back. Steal left alone in a 1v2. Wow. Steal gets cleaned up as well. Gambit are winning crucial gunfights, Riv. Like these close. Steal and Austin are both one point away from getting theirs online, but the null command is not going to be a factor here. Steal drops. Austin is able to trade one out, though, and he gets a blade storm. It's Defo. They drop the other off. That's big. Ethan, a huge frag onto Nats. Always want to be investing in ultimate like that. Another seeker going towards spawn. That was followed by Redgars. He is real close now. Inside B by himself. And that's going to be a boathouse. Nitro, how big of a play is this? Asuna and Nitro are able to get one apiece. Shados in a 1v4. Excellent setup. Asuna goes up top. Shados yanks him down, but Hiko cleans things up. So, to draw up a little something out of Gambit's book, but this early pressure. Asuna, the flash was there. A little friendly fire. They're able to push that off. Asuna's down to 25 health, and Ethan's already dropped. My word. Nats so fast with that. Whoa, See? Hard angles. You cannot do much if you're trying to believe 100 Thieves are going to try too much. No, uh, together. Yeah, I know. I think the tricky thing too is you've got so much presence mid on the side of Gambit that even if you do make your presence known towards B coming out of Garage, like there's just easy hat. There may still be a rat. This is already impressive that they're able to make it across the map. A bit of extra money in the hands now of 100 Thieves as they're looking to hold strong. All of them in the sight. This could make it tough. And you can see Gambit saying, where's the flank? Where's it coming from? To their surprise, Steel is posted up on the site. Uh, not going to be sniffing anything out this time around. And the approach is going to come in from up in heaven and from tree. Steel's already been cleaned up. Hiko's trying to play Last down in hell. And it's going to have to be some hell of a heroic play to make this happen. And that might be exactly what it was. Hiko was able to get two, but Nats is three. Kills on the round. Get them the defeat. To pick one up. And with 50, a little under uh, a minute left in the round, there's actually a ton of info that was just gathered by Chronicle using the drone to get yep. back towards B, right? That allows Defo to swing out a bit further, and that calls the All rotate moving. instantly. Exactly, Riff. So they, they, given how things play out, oh, they're able to pull towards A, right? It's kind of uh, interesting that 100 Thieves, you know, they'll see the stars as, as we finish this one up. Nitro's going to get a few for himself, but going down. <laughs> with that plethora of Gambit members coming. He pinched in. The cam's in A. They still have stars to slow down what 100 Thieves would want to do getting in. This flank's going to be huge, Doug! The timing! Oh Shadow's good for two! Not able to get three. Ethan cleans him up, but now you've only got 10 seconds left. This is going to be a scurry to get the spike down on the site. Asuna trying to get it down, and he does. A 3v4 in favor of Gambit. Nats gets Beautiful. cleaned up at the hands of Ethan. Remember, this is still a bonus, man. This is, this is so... Labor for 100 Thieves. The Seekers is going to get some space, but with the wall there, knock, knock. I mean, yeah, what do you, what do you got? Slokes, the Seekers wear out. Door's not broken just yet. 100 Thieves trying to make this the tactical D, and Gambit's about to hit every point at once. Wall pops out, Ethan gets it. Beta's Defo tries to swing over, he gets cleaned up. Defo's able to get one oh on the steal, and Gambit word. take another one. Defo with the op. Flash not gonna land, but my goodness, that shot is consistent. Ethan gets cleaned up. You hear the Hunter Fury coming out as well. Not gonna Okay, so he was able to get Redgar. But that seems to be it. Defo not able to land the shot up close and personal, but Shados was a little friendly help from the teammate there, bailing him out of a brutal situation. But Shados, my goodness, the guy is automatic. He's so damn good. They would say it's not Nats, it's Shados. If it's not Defo, it's one of them. Nats now coming up point here Nats for Ascent. And we'll see if they can take it tried and true right on through here. This second half has just been in their B D A attack, and I should say B defense, as they would swap sides there. Shado still getting pressure to zero point hitting him as he goes out. That's going to be the command. Down as well, and Steel just gets dropped. Dude, they can't get in. 
Gambit, you shall not pass. That's exactly what Gambit are calling out right now. There's been no window oh my for them word. to work an absolutely dominant performance out of And as, you know, Shaz even said, wiping the floor, it seems like they're... Waiting. No shot. One, deep. two. Oh, the Austin with the look almost gets taken down. They're going to try to get him with three. That is going to be one. Gambit but they're pulling back. back. They're pulling back. They're pulling back. It's just going to be a, a complete oh, slug I fest back on the site. 100 Thieves were able to trade out a couple. Austin is already good for two. Looking to land the third. No. Chronicle cleans that back up. Ethan's going to fall as Yes, both teams got hot and heavy real quick. And now the plant going down B for Gambit. 30 seconds left. Chronicle. Planted. All right, so the spike is down. Dart cleared out. Oh, does ping. Oh, yeah, it did. You're right. So it did tag onto Chronicle. They have a decent idea of where he is, but they don't know where Defo is. They know he's close because Chronicle did not look up to kill that on his ping. It's not close enough. Oh, Defo. Ooh. Eco gets messed up as well. I have timed that just yet, and that's how much Gambit is in their heads. Asuna, Asuna, Asuna's right behind him. Asuna's right behind him. Gambit is in Asuna, the though. Asuna, there it is. Oh, oh my gosh, Asuna almost. Almost. Doesn't land the shots, but he cleans up Nats. Meanwhile, on A, the spike is down. Viper's wall, not going to be a factor, as Nats did get cleaned up. 100 Thieves looking to attempt the retake. Quick one for one. Everybody coming from the same side here. Looks like it's actually going to be three on the top side dropping off of this catwalk, dog. They're going to try to just smother what's going down underneath. You're expecting one, but here comes the cavalry. Steel up top. Austin is already good for it. Red car. Red car. No, red car. Not like this with all this info. The weapon upgraded. He's good for water. Okay, he does get cleaned up. Nitro gets the kill and the defuse. That was dicey for a moment, but they get away with it. But Riv, Riv I will say this from Gambit. What's the storyline for them? Asuna. Somebody clear it for him. Oh! Absolutely unfortunate. Definitely should be. If there was enough there to clear it, 100 Thieves just getting hit up on these little trick plays. Coming in from Gambit. Now they have a bit of control. They know 100 Thieves is going to be spreading out the map right now. Mm -hmm. and Gambit can do whatever they need to. Spike's still in mid. Right, and this is Gambit. Like, this is vintage Gambit, right? Death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. We're going to cut you on one side of the map. We're going to cut you on the other. We're yeah. going to apply oh pressure. Right? Like, you understand now Defo's still on B, so you can lean that way. But middle of the map is not an option as they're all working their way towards that. Nitro's in a spot where it is a chance to make the play happen. But no, when you are when you swing around the corner and you're looking at three members of Gambit, what do you got? Deco? Deco? That's all he's going to get. He gets two. Nats cleans him up. Gambit winner. Everyone today. Early Viper's Pit used... From Nitro. All right. So little down control. A. Yep. Little control. Little control. And they have the alarm bot in there as well. So even if somebody tries to boldly sneak their way through that, the alarm bot pops that up. Defo looking to work the middle of the map. So he goes just on the other side. And it's Ethan pushing forward, but they've got another sniffer. Chronicle sniffing things out. Ethan can't get in. And Nats is already healed. They push through where they know they could find early aggression. Hiko's been peeking. Redgar's there to heal. Just the setups they have. You already had Defo up top. Good information, though, from 100 Thieves. They need every bit of info. They can get wall over for the drone. You in living in his head. Oh, my word. Hiko cleaned up. Middle of the map. And not that they had really control to begin with, but if there was any semblance of control, it's long gone uh, at this point. As you see, members of Gamers are now going to rotate back over towards David Asuna. Looking to play spoiler a bit. He can certainly cause some damage. We need if you're, if you're a fan of 100 Thieves, you need Asuna to get online. That's the timing was beautiful yeah. as Ethan gets caught. Nitro hears at least two footsteps. Left. He can easily make that call, and maybe even a third one trickled in there for himself. He could decipher it. As Asuna starts to back off, and this is what I just said about Gambit. They're at one site. A few seconds later, they're planting at the opposite. Yeah, they're good. they're gonna they're gonna cut it close this time, but I guess it wouldn't Ten be Gambit left. if that wasn't the case. <laughs> Asuna, good Ooh. for it though. Not even Ooh. getting the user. Defo's going in aggressive. Asuna. Asuna shuts him down. He's good for three. Spike did go down, however. You've got the Empress, but you've got I mean you you've got to get an orb here, right? Like you you've got to get a soul orb to get back into a better position. Viper's wall goes up. The swing is there. Chronicle cleans him up. Nitro left in the one v two. Chronicle's down to eighteen health. Nats is weak as well. 
It is certainly time to do this. So oh, Nitro is getting pinched in, down to 27 health. Nats knows exactly where he is. Spike continuing to tick. Nitro is going to have to bust the move here, man. But they're drawing his attention away from both sides. Wow. And tip of the spear. Yeah, Austin is going to be able to take space away. Ethan's going to be able to take space away across mid as well. And that's a big opening kill. We haven't been able. We haven't seen that very much out of Ethan. Nats drops first. Begin. Three ultimates on both sides. There's the Empress coming out. We'll see if they can make this work. Nitro just misses the wall, and he will be taken down by Shadows, traded by Asuna. Punished. Punisher's coming out from Hiko. Oh my goodness, that's a ton of info, but he's going to be able to get any kills off of it. Asuna is. It causes enough havoc right back towards uh, Yellow Box, and it's enough to get him a kill. A couple of years dropping out. They know where he is. The Empress is online. It's Asuna working things around. He's good for it. Shadows running for the fences, but no, it's actually Shadows who's able to get one of his own. Ooh. A little dueling Empress is here. Shadoff stays alive. Still has the leader. Doesn't have the spike. One way is giving him some trouble. Yeah, and it, the, I guess the benefit is that there is no flank, right? There is no pinch. Everything is in front of him. He gets one. Uh oh. Shadoff. Shadoff, uh -oh. good for two. He's already got four. Is he going to get another A? Eh? Six bullets. He's going to have to reload. 30 seconds left. Hiko. Dancing around. Hiko's been so good historically in these moments, but when you've got Shadoff who's doing things like this, 22 seconds left. Hiko's dark gives up that position. Shados! Shados not able to land the shots! Hiko! I, I mean, a lifeline! They're out of Gambit as well, and they're, they're significant ultimates, right? The Viper's pit. <laughs> and then, if those three ultimates are not enough, well, then you've got Defo uh, as well on the side of Gambit, and he's just continuing to pile it on. Can't wait to look at the first blood stats coming in here. It's, it seems like 100 Thieves is always working a member down so fast no into shit. the round again through mid! So time and time again! Gambit just waltzes up mid. While Ethan's trying to push forward, he's going to get clean. For 100 Thieves here. In this in this 2v5, right? Like, sure you don't not go for it, and it seems to be working. Of course, as I say that. Nitro drops the seals left alone, and Nats, you called the flank. Just a couple of seconds. Serious trouble here. 8-2. And again, a heavy look, a more aggressive than is usual, than is customary, uh, out of Gambit. But 100 Thieves, at least for the time being, have been a bit more stalwart in their defense. They're able to get Great an shot. kick on the Nats. They're going to get the Vipers pit down as well. Excellent start. That's the pop shots that they need on the side. 100 Thieves, the quick peeks, getting Asuna into the fray. It seems like they've all been a little too timid to take these shots, because wow. that, Shados! Having the confidence to make sure that first shot is a headshot. And in its little split-second moments like that, right? We're talking about a 5v3. The res comes, the kill's traded. All of a sudden, that advantage that you haven't been able to come across very often is gone. I was looking for drone. Drone's down. Or drone is still up for now. If he decides to use it, look like that might be the play towards mid. He goes waiting on it. But Chronicle takes down Steel. And 100 Thieves isn't even convinced that this is going to be the A hit. They're still decently spread out. Anchor on B. Hiko mid, anchor A, and Hiko gets dropped by Redgar. He was mid. And the thing is, you're right, they, they weren't convinced it to hit A, and for good reason. Right? Like, the thing is, it's almost like 100 Thieves know that you can't trust the first no. pump fake. Or the second. Or the second, or the third. <laughs> and and at that moment, right, like Gambit are so far in that you think you got to wait till the third pump fake. Right. They drop the Hail Mary on the first, and all of a sudden, like, crap. Nitro. Ten, are you got brave. Oof. Standing. It's tough when you're getting a family photo from Gambit. Going hunting, oh but dear. if things play out just right, Shados might get a shot. They can't even carry a rifle into the next round. That's a, a pretty good, <laughs> historically. And for 100 Thieves, all you have left is the from the Shadows. Defo going in aggressive. What? They strike it an instant, but Asuna and Ethan are keeping things close. Defo equalizing things back to a 2v2. He goes walled off. He doesn't have any U to left right now. He's only rocking a Guardian. Nitro only has a Spectre. And Chronicle gets a spike down. Walling off Snowman. You just see Defo jump through his little lane that he had protected by the Viper Wall. Able to take on Asuna. Hiko, though, with the Guardian. And Nitro coming in with a fan or a Spectre. Can they make it happen? Chronicle, yeah, he's going to get cleaned up. You asked if they could make it happen. They can. Towards long. But 100 Thieves turned their attention over towards A. For good reason, we saw them execute very well on this side against Savon Liberty. But as we've discussed, this is a, a bit of a different beast uh, that you're facing. Devil's going to get pushed off. Shados is not, as he cleans up Asuna. And the thing is, Riv, that's in pistols. Yeah. That's their win condition, right? It's Asuna. It it's Reina popping off. It's making making chaos happen. Not a factor this time around. Eco plans. Trying to get back for the shock darts if he can get into position for these. 3v5 situation, Doug. And we see the drone come out, and all of Gambit hop into sight here. 
Hunters are pushing. There were three. Oh nice my thing God. Dart. Yeah, that dart showed them everything. But Hundred Thieves were able to get a couple. It's just steel though. He's got the sheriff. Shados has been spotted. Nope. Shados' ghost is better than the. Sh While you're in there to take the site itself. Exactly, yeah, you're exactly. absolutely right, Riv. So Redgar's actually in a really aggressive spot here, playing contact. Steel was playing contact off the off the turret, and it even triggered at the right time. But Steel just wasn't able to land the shots. Nitro finds Defo hiding up in Nest. What else can they do? Good Leer. Good Leer. And Nitro saw where he was. Saw the silhouette. Asuna swings around. Redgar's cleaned up. Nitro goes in aggressive. As he's going to be able to get the spike down as well. A 4v3 in favor of 100 Thieves. They have control of the site. Nats is going to take the long scenic route all the way around. So, I mean, if you're here, if you're Gambit, you got to push at the right time. Buy time for Nats to get there without losing your life. If you're 100 Thieves, you got to get space, right? Like, you're huddled in here. You're getting pinched around. But if you don't push out, if you don't get space, you're going to feel all of that pressure from opposite sides at the exact same time. You're not going to have anywhere to go. You're going to have to fight their way through the setup that Gambit have set up. And it's all coming off of the flank Whoa, from Nats. Nats here here's they go. They're starting to push out. Yeah. Yes, huge kill from Ethan to clean up Nats. Now they have some room to breathe. The push is going to have to come in, but they can retreat further back. Excellent response from 100 Thieves. Excellent. That could have been long. All sorts of detail, man. There's like <laughs> nowhere for them to go, but they are going to push into it. You hear the drone, tip of the spear. Nats gets pushed off. That Viper's Pit's gonna come down real soon. Alright, so no longer a factor. Chronicle drops early on as Steel's able to get the first kill. Nitro's down to 10 health, though. He's gonna have to get healed up. At the hands. Oh, he was playing in and out of the Viper Util, I'm sorry. So the spike made its way down long. It's gonna pull back. Actually. Ooh. So again, switching it. Yep. Take a little of uh, your opponent's own medicine and deliver it back to them. One side after the other. Let's see if they're going to be able to get this. They know nothing is pushed. Now the turret's activated. At least to that right corner. They'll be checking everything here. 14 seconds left. Steel is deep within the site. But he's not on catwalk. I think left. he wanted that. Doesn't oh, matter. Steel good for one onto Defo. That could have been problematic. You also see Redgar's going to be pushing him from the middle of the map. Redgar good for it onto Steel. He gets his. As Shados is still trying to work his way in as well. They haven't gotten past the defenses, right? Like, they're no closer to getting onto the site than they were just a couple of moments ago before those kills. Now they're going to recollect. They're going to get a bit more space to work with, but Hiko still has a shock dart. Asuna is able to clean up Redgar. Shados is all that's left. It looks like he's going to get away, save that Vandal, yeah. carry it on into the next round. So for 100 Thieves for now, they continue to avoid a loss. And that's great to see for 100 Thieves, not just that they're avoiding the loss, but that even after the use of quite a bit of that util, we saw drone going up in different locations, waiting the round out like that has told them a little bit that Gambit will give up a little bit of agency to the site because they hit that space and then attempted to retake. The benefit for them is that it is going to be a straight up 5v5. You hear the Viper's Pit has been used as well out of Nitro to continue to control that area of the map. You've got Shados back towards Snowman continuing to try to apply pressure as Ethan has his hands full. Excellent paranoia there. He's going to have to drop. That's a big kill on Shados. Get him offline. As Asuna, looking to continue to work things, looking to continue to make things happen. Steel's good for one as well. Members of Gambit oh, continue no. to drop like flies. But Ethan, oh, Ethan spotted Defo, but he's got to back up. It's just Defo. He's got the Blade Storm. He's in a 1v3, though. And the spike continues to tick away. I don't know that, I don't know if he's going to be able to get into this. You hear it continue to spit tick. You hear it continue to speed up. This round should go in favor of 100 Thieves. And it was, it was a great use of, of ultimate utility, right? Like, you got in, you used... Uh, the uh, eye, and he can right. still cause problems. Now, Redgar is going to be uh, much worse oh, for wear. Hello. No Blade Storm. As Ethan and Asuna get a couple of kills. Ethan and Asuna, excuse me, get a couple of kills early on. Asuna just down to 7 health, though. But an excellent start for the Thieves. Nats Gas about to go down. They usually make a play right off of this to get a quick peek in. He's getting a drone for assistance as well once his gas goes down. Look at how they're simultaneously using this utility to keep each other protected. Wow, that was that was clean. Okay, so is he gonna Okay, he does stick it, right? Steel took all of that space A. He's able to stick the from the shadows onto the site, get the spike down, and now you've got the remaining members of Gambit who are gonna rotate in from middle right into Nitro's lab. Nitro gets two, yeah, Chronicle trades it out, but that's all he's gonna do is Ethan takes care of him. 
Oh, wow. Patch tried getting away. A great shot from Ethan to a Those backs up. They get a leader out of that as well. So a few things going in the favor of 100 Thieves. But Gambit still feeling comfortable about what's going on. And they call the B exec. Oh, Chronicle goes ahead and invests the Hunter Siri to try to tag him. I mean, they were right, right? Like the Spidey Sensors were there. They understood where they were, but they weren't able to tag anything up. 100 Thieves managed to get onto the site as, ne as Nitro, excuse me, gets the spike down. Asuna. Ah, forget it. Dawson didn't even have to do anything. Steel was able to take care of two of his own. The Leer swings out. The shots are delivered, but Defo's op able to take care of Steel. 1v4. Make that a 1v3. And surely you don't <laughs> challenge him here. Surely not. They know where he's going, though. You see the pings actually coming out on yep. your minimap from the side of 100 Thieves. I loved the pressure from Steel coming in through Kitchen this round. 100 Thieves is trying to work off the ball now. And what? Gross. At no shot. A moment of silence. No shot. Holy. One in. One in the chamber. Who wants to peek him? Holy crap. On their side. Now 100 Thieves have to commit with only 20 seconds left. They don't really have very many options. Redgar Ooh. playing just around the smoke. Shadows has been cleaned up. Redgar's going to get messed up as well. Chronicle plays up top. They're all just huddled together. Yeah. You got Nats who's working around. Nitro's able to clean that up. Back off the flank, so there's no pressure coming in from there. Additionally, Nitro's going to continue to take space away, but Shadows on the res. Shadows is pretty damn good. And he's back v on line. Chronicle drops. Spike continuing to tick away. Op shot goes just a bit wide. Nitro does have, or excuse me, Hiko does have a shot dart. There it is, no longer online. Hiko, Hiko, Hiko. Hiko. get one piece. Ethan cleans the last oh one up God. as well. Oh, baby, we're tied. Gets in with the Empress and has a nice Hiko. flank for himself, but he's coming from the front side of the site. 30 seconds And it left. looks like that's going to be the case for everyone. No, Chronicle's going to have the late flank. How does this work for 100 Thieves? Spike going down. Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't gotten it down. Oh. But he, they may not have to as they're just getting kills across the board. Whoa. Yeah, forget the spike, just get the kills. 100 Thieves. Nine rounds in a row for 100 Thieves. Can they make it 10 straight? Asuna starting to pop off. I think one of the biggest things we recognize in the chit out of getting this orb. So he's not tempted to go grab it. No! Uh, Caster curse. Uh, as he moves up, Nitro goes down. Nats is there. Nice bite because he knows he's not getting out of this one safe as the team's trying to rotate over for some help. He does get the heal. No, they wait off. Shock dart out of Hiko's able to clean that up. So numbers equalized at four piece. As of course, as I say that, 100 Thieves get the numbers advantage. Redgar has dropped. Three members remain on the side of Gambit as that's been equalized. Kills trading back and forth. As Ethan gets the spike down. Shadows playing around the smoke. Shadows with that able to dismiss away. Grabs the land. Grabs the kill, excuse me, onto Ethan. As now Gambit have the numbers advantage. The remaining members of 100 Thieves huddled up. Back behind yellow. Not a ton of you to work with. I mean, you've got the, the shock dart, but Eco's playing pretty tight here, Asuna. Able to clear out the Sonar's up. Live first, not be able to space space. Shadow's good for one. We go. Eco trades one out. No, oh, just narrowly not able to get the second. Eco is pitching in. He's able to get a second one. Eco, 24 health. Running for the time. Chronicle has plenty of health. Chronicle on the tap. He's got to get Rose it to don't fake. He's got to get it to half. Oh there he goes, swings out. He gets four. He gets the rip. Change of rounds from first to second half is just first blood. Who's going down first? There. We Quiet opening round. Here from Gambit. Austin is going in aggressive. Great Ash oh Star. Austin able to clear up. Chronicle. And now they, so they understand they weren't able to get into B. So they're going to come right back in to steal the shorty. Good for one. We'll look at it, but it's just knowing who's coming to the site. Another gravity well. Beautiful by Nitro to just slow everything down right now. Still an astral form protected by two. Oh, is able to get the spike down, but Ethan Ow. swings around with two. They get the last kill that they need. They are going to be able to get the defuse as well. 100 Thieves win the pistol. And again, 100 Thieves get to rely on the last two maps of how get so many things they process these duelists as they dive in and have to dodge around each bit of environmental utility. And now, Asuna on the, on the flank. He's in a great spot. They're gonna try to work in towards B. Asuna's on the flank. There he is. One, two, no, not able to get a third. The Vandal from Shados is able to take care of him, but they try to get on despite he goes flanking oh, around. Oh. Nats was in his face. Nats good for a second. He still has to get the spike down though. Nitro, in that 1v2, he's flanking around. And remember, this is a Spectre, right? He's only got a Spectre going into a Vandal and a Phantom. He's been so good on Astra up until this point. Now, mind you, it's only been three rounds, but he's been pretty damn good up until this point. 
But can he do it again? Can he break the economy of Gambit? No, he cannot. 100 Thieves, drop the round. See Steel here using a bit of timing around a minute and 20 seconds to see if anybody had creeped up mid and oh the answer is yes. Is it a double drop? Oh. Getting antsy. Flash on the burn. Shade off his nats. Peaking slowly. Great positioning, great aim as he takes down Ethan. And that is going to be the uplink to make sure they know exactly where the rest of 100 Thieves are. Remaining members of 100 Thieves now. I mean, they've they've got some trouble in front of them. They haven't gotten onto the site, though. The spike isn't down yet, but they should be able to do so. Hiko's going to get messed up. The spike does go to him. Is that, you know, he's the king of positioning. And what does that mean? Viper, and he is absolutely holding it down. That first trade and then the movement to put himself out on a catwalk, it absolutely throws 100 Thieves. Steel getting pushed out here by a bit of a smoke. He's staring at a star right now. Austin fires one. Defo goes down. That's a big and pivotal frag to start off the round. To make a play here. Oh, yep. The swing out. Ooh. It was dicey, but he a landed the shots. Yeah. Sun was in his eyes. <laughs> you have to keep an eye on that, so as he's working the middle of the map as well. They've got to pull off. Austin tries to get oh. away. Excellent gravity well. Austin missing the first shot, but he lands the shots with the classic. Gets cleaned up on the way out of parting gift, if you will, as Nitro drops as well. Ethan. It's just Redgar in a 1v3! Ethan lands the shots, we're tied up at the Viper's Pit coming out from Chronicle. Look at that, that's covering half spawn! Oh, I love these mind games right now. Abilities across the map, 100 Thieves finally figuring out what is the true execution. And they'll try the retake on B. And they have no presence in Garage, right? So Gambit are going to be able to huddle back. They still have control of, def of a Defender spawn. They have control of Garage as well. They just have so much presence. And that forces 100 Thieves into a position where they're going to have to fight their way through what's going on. Chronicle! Oh my gosh, the swing from Ethan! But Defo's Judge, of all things, gets the kill on his steel. Nat's playing around, though. He's going to get cleaned up. Redgar in a 1v3. Ethan on the defuse. He at least gets it to half. Oh, oh the my Defo's God. there! Redgar, oh he's going to have to push it. Nitro has to stick it. Nitro wins the round. Oh, my gosh! I cannot believe how close the Redgar throwing smokes down, pushing back Asuna to find a different position, and he's going to get Asuna pushed all the way back. Do they decide to go on A now? Because 100 Thieves has not bit to a rotation. Oh! Redgar's able to land the shots on Asuna. Ethan's going to get oh. cleaned up as well. Damn, Nitro. Going to have to anchor down the site. Nitro good for two. Buys time, but Chronicle trades him out. Hiko, up top in heaven. Steel's going to be playing around as well. Hiko cleans that up. Steel's going to be fr franking a. around. So the spike is down. This is a brutal spot for Redgar. He's got the op that he picked up off of Asuna. He's going to trade it out. My gosh, he's going for the win. He's going to drop down. Waiting to see where he can left. find Steel's playing off site. The flash is there, but he flashed Hiko as well. Drops things down to a 1v1 for four seconds, but is he going to have enough time? That's going to be just, uh, just around the corner. Oh he does get the spike down. Red one. He's got you, Till. Surely he's got, he's got the Cosmic Divide too, but surely he doesn't use it in the sense it's right. No armor. Steel. Waiting for time! Steel oh wins the shots my. for 100 Thieves! Far. Maybe not map one or first half of map two, but they are living up to the hype now, and they're picking up right where they left off. The break doesn't seem to have caused much of a difference at all as Austin is able to get second, make that Whoa. three, and dashes away. And look at the amount of assists that Steel is getting. Oh, oh boy! Timing. Bad timing to look. Hiko gets taken out by the one way he set up himself. Shots from... On the, on the um, Alright, never mind. Insta turn. It's we like Nitro and Steel have been putting up so many assists. Asuna! Asuna! My gosh! The ball's on that guy to go in that deep with the blade storm. Nitro, the anchor, picks it up as well as he gets to. Sheos is left alone in a 1v3. It was a hot and heavy call coming out from 100 Thieves. They felt the pressure coming in from Gambit and they punch right back. Aggressive here. I mean, a good bit of trading of Util, but Asuna! Asuna gets a, another one! Shots are on fire. They've already dinked two, <laughs> like a little rope game from Nats and Steel as they head down in. And he's going to rip off the Null Command and see what he can find as he moves around. Freaking Mission Impossible impersonation we've got going on here again. You mentioned the ult denying any sort of anything. And, and for Gambit, as is customary for them, just wait. Right, like wait things out. Steel! Almost. Redgar cleans that up. There is an op down there. It's not being picked up. 3v3, looks like they're trying to block off at least one angle so they know exactly left. what they're looking at when they get into the site. Ethan is low, but Ethan is in a spot to make an impact play. That's the, that's the discipline corner, you gotta check that box! So Ethan's able to get one nitro again, the anchor back site gets Last one to trade it out. Hiko and Shados and Hiko wins it again, a 9-3 half for 100
tagged up. Trades a little, little bit back. Warning shots. But that's all it is for now. But they, they have control of mid. Again, they have control of ropes. Dapo's in a spot to blow things up. No, Shorty not doing anything this time around. Asuna's friends, he does. However, as they've taken mid control, they've taken mail, they've taken Beheaven, and now they're getting deep onto the site. Push back Nats, push back whoever's left on the side of Gambit. This site is theirs. Quick plant down. Let's see where the flanks could be coming from. Hiko watching the back already. And they are just waiting for Nitro. He could have a big play here. Oh my word. Middle of the map again, right? You feel that pressure. You understand that that's exactly where things are going to be coming in from. Nitro in a beautiful spot and wins the two gunfights that's needed. This does not look good for Gambit Riv. Quick clean up here. Nitro finds the third shade. Taylor make a mistake just for the time being. But a lot of respect being given here on this bonus round coming in. Or I should say, second round coming in. Ethan, Ethan not holding back. Whoa. Nats has gone big. Chronicle has as well. Steel alone in this one before we talk about economy being flipped. Right? Be off of situations like this. And the thing is, the remaining members of Gambit have all upgraded weapons. Nats is playing so patiently, he's not going to swing out. He's not going to give Steel the chance to punish that. They're just going to wait, make him come to them. That's my Flash. favorite. Wow. But this is where Nats has made a living in anchoring down this site. Moments like this have made Nats as famous as he is. That's what's given him the reputation that he has. Can he do it again? No. Ethan cleans that up right off the bat. Extinguishes the possibility of that and should be able to get the spike down. Yasuna backing up. He's going to get away with his life. Excellent take from 100 Thieves. Yeah, able to thwart the kind of knowledge from the cam. Hiko. Cavalry approaches. Shade us. Takes down Hiko, but he's got a lot of work to do as the Seekers come back at him. They have eyes on the prize up top. Defo looking to make an upshot towards Elbow, but they'll go for Vandals here to start. They're going to go for it with the time on the clock. Switch things out. Now it's time for Util. They turn the flash. Austin is in a great cross, but no, he's not able to land the shots in the cloud burst. They're continuing to push it. Nitro, Ethan trying to hold the site back. The Ethan good for one. Ethan not able to get the second. No, the clip runs dry. And what would have been a save of the off for it used across the middle of the map? But here we go. You see 100 Thieves. They want to go aggressive. They want to go hot and heavy. And they're going to use the no command as the tip of the spear. They're going to push Defo off. Red Gar spotted steel, so he's down. But they should be able to protect him at least for a little bit. Hiko's able to clear one out. Yeah, look at him. Defend, defend steel. They get the res online and they get the spike down. Counter Viper's pits too. Zero point doesn't catch too much on the score. Here comes Nats from the outside. Gonna give himself a gate up link and now oh. figure out where all of 100 Thieves is. Ken, Gambit, bite down. And they're all playing the Vipers, but Asuna dancing around. Gonna get tagged up a little bit and start to play off site. See members of Gambit slowly start to push their way forward. Defo going up top. Ethan gets cleaned up. Hiko playing in it as well. Asuna's in a good spot for it, but no, he gets traded out. Hiko. Hiko in a 1v3, but they're so weak. Hiko, they're so weak. Oh my Hiko, God. they're so weak. He go just on the other side. The tap. No, he's gonna fake it out, and that might give his position away. But he go, he go, does it again. A red bull clutch, a 4K for Hunt. How did Ethan? Oh my goodness, he saw everything. Everything's in front of him. Looking like they're gonna try to pop flash. Do the cosmic divide. Nats gets cleaned up instantly. Nitro's able to get one on Shados as well. Hundred Thieves have full control of the site. The remaining members of Gambit are just now showing up, and it could potentially prove to be a pretty one-dimensional attempt, attempt yep. at a retake because Steel's in a position to clean out everything that's coming in through heaven. But Redgar creeping his way forward. Steel just on the other side. That should give the kill. Redgar cleans up Steel. He go backing up. Spike continuing to tick away. Four v three still in favor of Hundred Thieves. As they counter with a with a cosmic divide of their own. Okay. Ethel. Oh, oh, oh no, so just a little shallow, just a little shallow, but he gets a kill anyway. He goes just behind him, he's able to spot One Defo. He gets baby. cleaned up. He go and I draw in a 1v2 against oh. Redgar. He's up in heaven, he's got the op, but yeah. he doesn't have his time. And really what Gambit don't have is time at this point. They're running oh. out of it. Hundred Thieves get to match point, get to series point. Timing. Okay, so they understand that they've lost heaven here. And they've got to swing out from ropes. They've got to swing out from ropes, but Hiko stops it! He stops it! He, he absolutely stops the aggressive push that was coming in from ropes that would have blown up the mid play. Huge coming out of Hiko. 
Astrostar is going into the back of B to try to deter. You can still see one set there by Nitro. And that's not the way they're going to be going. Viper's Pit oh already used towards B, so they're going to start heading towards A, and Defo makes a very close shot on Steel to back up for another one. Oh, oh my god, she hits word. another through the cloud burst! He might be able to get a third! No, just misses! Ethan cleans that up, but Shados is there! Shados has shown up at just the right time to stop that as well! Things look so good! But now Nitro's left alone in a 1v2, he's got the spike! Shados is weak! Chronicle's gonna show up, but he's gonna show up late! Now it's on Nitro! For him to have heroics, yes, it's been Hiko a couple of times, but can I try provide the same spark? Does he have the same gene? Spike continuing to tick down. Cosmic Divide has come out as well. Nitro dancing his way around. Defuse is going to be quiet. Yeah, and he's yeah he's not going to hear it. Wrapping his oil all the way around. Shados has started it. They're not looking. And Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it and Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it and Nitro doesn't know. Shados steals the defuse away right under his nose. Maybe a lapse. I'm not sure. There was no play towards the end and a lot of time there. Oh. Gambit has played the firefight on those rounds most of the time. So there is an inclination that using to fold. Now in a position to really push Hunter deep to the brink. Oh my goodness, Nats. Anchoring down the site, he was able to get one. Able to get a second as well. There's still two rifles and a Spectre in the hands of Hunter Thieves. Ult's gonna come out as well. Nitro gets the spike down and Hiko gets ult. 3v2 situation. This could bring 100 Thieves to knock out Defo. Shados once again, the two alive to bring it back into Gambit's favor. Defo's got an off, but we've seen that he has no problem taking these up close and personal off fights. Shados drops down. Nothing doing. They're all huddled up in the Viper's Pit. There's nobody going to be playing around Garage as well. They're all huddled in on the site. They're playing it tight. Defo goes up top. Yay, going to spot on the Steel. No, Steel swings out. Defo's not able to land the shot. Steel does it. Nitro does it as well. They were down. Nitro feels like that may happen once again, but they quickly get the defuse.